I hope the car is not stolen. Do you guys have your driver's license? Right What's going on, guys? So we have a story time with this hunk of junk that we got right here. Uh, this car is the reason why we had four cop cars and a helicopter roll up here, and uh, it's a pretty interesting story. So, I should start from the beginning. Uh, this car uh, was messaged to me from a uh, local uh, colleague or someone I knew from, you know, a little bit of meets and racing and stuff. I said, hey, do you want to buy this car? It uh, sent me some nice pictures. It looked really nice. Not really the nicest car that I've come to find out, but uh, it looked pretty good. He said, hey, I'll deliver it to you. Um, we worked out a price. He was going to deliver it. Says it runs and drives. Has some recorder damage, which we're going to show you guys. But uh, it was supposed to be delivered to me. He then said he had some uh, transmission problems, this and that. And then I was like, well, I don't really want this car that much. But I was like, hey, well, the price will be a little bit cheaper. I'll come out and pick it up. And uh, so I loaded up the truck and trailer. Went out of uh, probably about an hour away, different county. Uh, picked the car up. Uh, the transmission is very blown. Um, the engine runs good. Uh, it doesn't have cats, uh, which kind of stinks in terms of, you know, we usually like to get things with cats. So I bought this thing today. Total pile. But, oh yeah, it's got that too. Came with this. Do we call it a $600 pumpkin? Why is there a pumpkin in here? Don't know. Um, and the rear quarter damage, the paint is pretty junky. Um, so really, we only bought this thing for an engine. So I did go ahead, load it up. Uh, we paid a little bit less than uh, the, you know the delivered price. Didn't really think much of it. Uh, came back to the shop. Uh, we uh, I pulled in with the truck and trailer. Uh, got the forklift ready to forklift it off. And since reverse doesn't work with the transmission. Uh, we actually loaded it, unloaded it right about there in front of the shop. And uh, I actually have uh, someone working with me now uh, working on the car. So Brad uh, came over and he was like, hey, uh, there's a license plate on this thing. Which I was like, that's weird. Um, and I was like, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I guess we can figure out whose it is or, you know, whatever. Or worse comes to worse, you just have a plate sticking on the wall or something, you know, some sort of decoration. As you can see, there is no longer a plate on this vehicle. Shortly after we said that, a uh, Flagler County police officer rolled right down the driveway. We're pretty tucked away where we're at. So he rolled down the driveway, parked right there. I said, hey, what's up? And uh, he proceeded to tell me, uh, stay where I am. Uh, don't move. Don't reach for anything. Are you the only two on the property? So we were kind of there frozen for a second. We're like, what is going on? There's a helicopter literally flying over head, right over here. And uh, we were kind of like, what the hell is going on? Brad, who just started working here, is just like, what did you do? And uh, this thing, I didn't get a title for it, so I was pretty positive it wasn't stolen, but I uh, had a clip that I dropped right in here. I hope the car is not stolen. Um, of when I did go ahead and get my phone out after uh, I think his backup came and everything. Uh, but he basically said, don't move, don't reach for anything, don't do anything until his backup arrives. So three more cop cars rolled down the driveway. So a total of four cops and a helicopter flying overhead. Um, I'm assuming they were doing uh, some sort of heat signature to see if we were telling the truth on more people being here or not. Um, so once they got the more officers here, uh, they went over, checked the car. I said, hey, I don't think it's stolen. Um, I, maybe the plate might be stolen. We just noticed it was there. Um, so ultimately, I was pretty worried because I don't want a stolen property charge. I have a clean record. I explained that to them. I said, hey, here's the person's info. Here's their address. This is all this. I was like, I didn't even want this car. You can go ahead and take it. Do not care about this car whatsoever. I just don't want to get in trouble. So uh, we did finally get it worked out. He walked me over to the truck. I grabbed the title, gave it over to him. Um, they ran a thin check on it. 
car is not stolen, but the plate was indeed stolen. Uh, so they asked me some questions about it, I gave them the info for it. Luckily, uh, they ended up taking the plate. He would have brought the, so he was supposed to deliver the car here and he would have brought you guys right in. I'd be like, I don't want anything to do with this. I said, go take the car home. So we'll, How long does this guy have the car for? Uh, I don't know. This is, I normally do all my homework and I didn't even really like want this car that much. And uh, I was just like, you know what, dude, just bring it, just deliver it and I'll pay you for it. And then he was like, oh, I can't get it run. I can't get it on the trailer, this and that. I was like, fine, I'll come pick it up. You know, I, I just, I like didn't want it because we got like so many cars here and this is not like a big money car, but it's fine. And uh, kind of going on their way, um, funny enough, they didn't really ask too many questions about the fact that there's all these vehicles over here. Um, they basically just asked like, are all these vehicles yours? And I was like, yeah, you know, we part them out, get most of them from auction so we don't have to deal with stuff like this. Um, but uh, I think it was overall, I mean, it didn't end up in handcuffs. Um, I did tell Ashley that, uh, you know, we had four cops and helicopter show up and a little concerned on that one, as well as Brad's wife. But uh, overall, I think it ended up uh, working out. We had one of the cops uh, asking about the Crown Vic with the turbo on it. Um, I may or may not have bribed him with burnouts, but uh, I think that's a crime. Uh, and then uh, one of them out also liked uh, some of the cars we had in the shop, which is pretty cool. But uh, overall, uh, one, I'm glad I'm not in jail. Two, I'm glad this car is not stolen because I probably would be in jail. And uh, three, don't, uh, yeah, don't take any car with a license plate ever again. Um, Carfax is your friend. Don't buy stolen stuff. But which Didn't they find you from a light plate reader? Yeah, oh yeah. So I guess I should talk about uh, how they found me, which uh, was kind of the interesting thing. I mean, obviously I wasn't trying to hide anything because I didn't think I did anything wrong. Um, but uh, with the car on the trailer, um, had the plate obviously, and they have plate readers going all up and down this road. So I guess it ran the plate on the car and it came back stolen, so they put out a uh, thing for my truck and trailer, and I believe the helicopter probably followed me into the property, which then there is the cop car that came and the other three cops. So, uh, plate readers, um, if you are a wanted criminal, they're not your friend, but uh, luckily I am not a wanted criminal. I just bought a car with a stolen tag. So that was definitely an interesting story. Uh, definitely had me worried, because uh, I didn't wanna deal with getting charged, arrested, or anything like that. So this car, I'm not the biggest fan of this car. It's ugly. It's, uh, I mean, it's wrecked over here too. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just not, not a biggest fan of it. I feel like it has kind of like some bad luck. Um, it came with a pumpkin and a hat. Uh, the interior is pretty gross on it. Um, Yeah, this one hasn't really been processed through inventory yet, but uh, the wheels bent over here. Um, really, I think the best thing about it is the uh, the engine actually runs really good um, and healthy. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the engine out of this thing. Transmission's obviously blown. Um, there's actually really not a lot of good parts on this car overall. Bumpers, uh, the brackets falling off of it. The paint is super faded. I mean, the top might not leak that bad, maybe. Um, it came with, I guess, a baby toy there. We haven't even gone through this thing. There, hopefully there's not a gun or something like that. Another gun. That's another story <laughs> for another day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. Um, this car, I will uh, look forward to the day she's crushed. Um, if you want to buy it, let me know. I cannot promise you uh, it will give you good luck because it probably won't, but uh, it is not stolen. So that is a good thing to know. I don't buy stolen cars. Anyways, if you are new here, uh, make sure you hit the like button down below. Uh, we do make a lot of videos on Mustangs and stuff like that. I also have, mm, I hate to say junkyard, but essentially a Mustang junkyard. 
at the moment? Graveyard. Graveyard. Uh, so we do sell parts, uh, coyotes, engines. Uh, we do have LSs here, uh, some GM stuff, and uh, a lot of different stuff. So check out freedompartsoutlet.com. Uh, we have all that stuff listed online. Um, I'm sure this won't be the last crazy story from buying a car. Hopefully, I mean, I like to make things nice and smooth and not sketchy, but ended up being sketchy even though it wasn't supposed to even though it wasn't supposed to be. Um, but anyway guys, we will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. So, I'm not in jail. <laughs> oh man, the car is not stolen. The tag is stolen. We have, was there how many cop cars? There was a fourth and a helicopter. Helicopter, four cop cars. The fourth one turned around and left once we saw the other three. The helicopter, <laughs> Did about five flybys and then peaced out. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. I already don't like this car. <laughs> it is like bad luck. I cannot believe that. So, uh, <laughs> luckily, no handcuffs. Um, the car is not stolen. Just, it had a tag on it. Usually I take tags off and uh, I don't want tags. I don't want other people's tags, but it just happened to have one on it and uh, I guess it got scanned Oops. while on the trailer. So that's interesting.